Hey everyone, it's Tony Schwartz. I just wanted to do a little follow-up video on my last one at Danielle and Ramon's wedding. As some of you wanted to know what was in my amp rack that I use when I DJ wedding receptions behind my DJ desk. It was a little dark, some of you couldn't quite see, and then of course some of you were just kind of curious what's how it's laid out. Um, so here's that video. And at the top of my amp rack, I put my DMX lighting computer, my MacBook Pro. I run Shave Show Express. And then when we flip this amp rack around, you'll see kind of the connections in the back and how that looks. Um, as we go down the rack, uh, first we start with a vent blink panel, and then we get to my Furman power conditioner. Below that, I put my Sennheiser AASA-1 antenna splitter, and then I run four wireless microphone systems um, just because it gives me a lot of options. Um, sometimes I might run one mic for myself and then two mics uh, for my toasters, or I may have someone doing a live uh, song performance with the acoustic guitar um, they need to sing so we can set that up uh, we have body packs and handheld microphones um, works great um, and it's a great to be able to have that already built into your rack and not have to run cables out and really kind of look kind of sloppy um, I also have um, an in-ear monitoring system I don't really use it for in-ear monitoring but it's great for satellite speakers and running a wireless signal to them um, so I've been built that into my rack as well too. My mixer, uh, I recently got this one. It's the Behringer XR12. Um, I really like it. Uh, one for the fact that it's only two spaces, um, and then two, I can mix everything on my iPad. Uh, that digital, thing, it's awesome. Uh, you'll see right here is an Ethernet cable that's running to my wireless router, which is on the back side. You may be able to see it. Um, if I sneak down, nope, it's back behind there actually. Um, and then my four mic cables, purple, so I know where those are. These go to my turntables, um, and my mixing station, my DJ desk, if you will. Uh, these are my master outs, and then also I have uh, my aux cables that go to the Sennheiser um, in-ear monitoring system. Um, just below that, there's a blank panel, and then this is my port um, that I connect to my DJ desk. Uh, so you'll see an input left and input right that go right back up into here on the Behringer XR12. And then you'll also see over here this power con out which uh, connects right to my DJ desk so there's power there. And then you'll see one more below that uh, Furman power conditioner and that's set up at the bottom of the desk. And then the last step is my drawer which has my microphones, a bunch of batteries, um, and then my in-ear monitoring systems are currently in here. My body packs are in a my ceremony rack, which we'll show in another video. Um, this is a really cool drawer. I believe it's by Gator. Um, keeps everything nice and neat, and easy to find, um, and it's, I just really like it. I found it on Amazon. Um, I'll put a link down in the description below. I really like this uh, rack. It's tight, compact, organized, um, and I have another one for my ceremony rack as well too. Let's flip this around real quick so I can show you the back side of my rack. Um, um, we'll start from the top again. There is my dongle for Chave Show Express and then I also have the Donner uh, antennas for Wi-Fi uh, wireless DMX. Um, I got those recently. I also have the battery powered um, antennas that you plug into the back of, for example, my Chave Rogue R2s. Um, they're really sweet and they're battery powered, which makes life really easy. Um, cables coming out of the back of that power conditioner on the back end. A ventilated panel. I know you can't see the vents in it, but trust me, it is. There is my dual brand, dual band Netgear router. Um, I only run the 5 gigahertz band. I took out the 2.4 as there's already enough conflict in the hotels and different rooms I'm doing with their own Wi-Fi. No one's really running on the 5, so that's mine. Um, and then this is the last thing you'll see before the last ventilated panel is this is actually my ports where I have my power in um, and my sp uh, mains out so I can run to my speakers. Keeps everything very clean back behind. I love the power con connections. And then the cool part is, is I have two power ins for the two different condi um, power conditioners and I can run it either way. If I need a lot of power, um, I'll run one 20 amp circuit to the top one and one to the bottom. If I don't need as much power and I just wanna power everything up, I have this little uh, um, power con cable that comes out right here. 
runs all the way down and runs right up to the next one. And then I have a few more um, PowerCon out uh, receptacles that are coming still. Um, I didn't order enough. I ordered a couple more and it's not here, but I will uh, get those next week and I'll add those in and then I'll have plenty of power out options. Um, and just, just a, a, it's really custom and it allows me to, you know, do whatever I need to do for different shows. Um, it's expensive a little bit, but it's worth it and it keeps, um, the entire system is very clean. I can roll this in and set it up and it's vastly improved my setup time. Um, so again, this is my amp rack that you guys saw in Danielle Ramon's video, the last video I posted on my YouTube accounts. If you guys have any questions, feel free to write them in the comments below. I will be happy to answer them. I answer all the comments and questions that I get. And then of course, uh, make sure you guys like this video, share it if you want to, um, and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to crank out a ton of video content for you guys on YouTube. It's become kind of my new focus in addition to my blog. Um, so I'll put all those links down in my description. And again, if you have any comments or questions, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to answer those. Thanks for checking this out. So my name is Tony Schwartz, and I'll see you guys soon.